I have a big sister, Gwen, who's two years older than me, and she's basically a genius. From as young as I remember, I idolized her. What is 25 squared? 625, Dad. Honey, what's this? It's the Starry Night, an oil-on-canvas painting painted in June 1889 by the Dutch post-impressionist painter Vincent van Gogh. While I'm, yeah, a bit different. And Lydia, I have ten candies. I'll give you two. So how many do I have left? Isn't this doll cute, Daddy? Yeah, I'm no genius, with no particular talent, no flawless beauty, and almost no friends either. But Gwen didn't mind and was always supportive of me. It's fabulous! Fabulous! It's fabulous! That's why I adored her a lot and try to copy everything she did. It's fabulous! What's so fabulous about my cat dying? Oops, wrong timing. Then, when I was 16, Gwen left for college. Out of sight, but definitely not out of mind. My parents went on about her all the time, which only made me miss her more. I dreamed of going off to college and having a perfect life, as she did. But for that to happen, I needed to shake up my plain Jane life. Hmm, I wonder what my hidden talent is. Could it be dancing? Uh, no, definitely not. Okay, maybe singing would be better. Right now I'm in a state of mind I want to be in like all the time Ain't got no tears left to cur- That's enough! Next! Gosh, why can Gwen make it seem so easy? But at least my grades didn't fail me. I studied my butt off and finally got into law school just like Gwen did, then moved out. Yahoo! So here comes my first day of college. Send me spiritual strength, Gwenny. I successfully joined the cheerleading team and boys started noticing me. But I only had eyes for Ethan, mm, my super handsome boyfriend. Finally, I achieved the life I always wanted. Thanks, sis, my real life role model. Then one day, I arrived home to see a familiar figure waiting for me. Gwen! I was so happy, thinking she'd finally freed up time to visit me, but she looked so upset. And had gained weight. A bit. <laughs> College life seems to have fattened you up. Lydia, I'm pregnant. What the chocolate fudge? One eternity later. I finally managed to close my goldfish mouth, then invited her inside. I dropped out of college six months ago, then found out I was expecting a baby right after. My due date's in just two weeks, and I have nowhere to go. Please, Lydia, let me stay here. Our parents must not find out. I can't face their disappointment. How about my disappointment? She was meant to be perfect, but she's just ruined everything. What about the father? Uh, um, he has to study in France, so you're the only one I can rely on right now. As mad as I was, I still felt sorry for her. She is my sister, after all. So I let her stay, but refused to talk to her. During the whole week, she hardly slept a wink. She plodded around the place, constantly trying to rub her back and tensing through the pain. I hated seeing her in so much discomfort, so yes, I caved. Together, we prepared for the arrival of our new family member, and I have to admit it, I was kind of excited. Let's find an adorable, meaningful name. Okay, let me do some research. Love Rosie is my favorite movie, so let's name her Rosie. Wow, that's fast. Baby Rosie was born healthy and happy. We three had such a good time until one day, I arrived home from college to find a note and an envelope inside Rosie's crib. My darling Lydia, I'll be away for a while longer. Two months, I suppose. I have to make some changes so that I can provide for Rosie. Please take care of her for me and do not tell anyone about this. I will be forever grateful for this. G. O. M. G. How could she do this to me? I still have college, my friends, Ethan, and, and now a niece? But when I turned to see Rosie smiling at me with those big, round, sparkling eyes, suddenly my heart melted. I can do this. Rosie, looks like it's just the two of us now. Mommy will be back soon, so please make things easy, won't you? She absolutely did not. Sometimes I wondered if Rosie was real or an AI program because every night at 3 a.m. sharp, she would cry her lungs out. And if her milk was a little colder than 98.6, she'd spit it all out. Not to mention, I have to come up with a thousand ridiculous ways to keep her entertained. And my house was always filled with a smell of stinky diapers. But other than that, Rosie was very sweet. I can't bring myself to get angry at her. 
I had no other option but to take online lessons instead of going to class. One time, I forgot to turn off the mic, and suddenly, Rosie farted so loudly that the entire class immediately flocked around to look. Another time, I was so exhausted from staying up all night that I felt my eyelids drooping. Then, Lydia! Yes, dear, milk is coming! I don't think milk works for you, but an F will. Oh no, no. Despite my constant apologizing, I still ended up with poor results. This semester, I'd already failed two classes and been kicked out of the cheerleading team. You think that is the worst part? Think again. On a super lucky day, I was at Walmart, overwhelmed with dozens of diaper brands when I saw none other than Ethan. There's nowhere to hide, Lydia. You're doomed. Oh, hi, Ethan. Didn't expect to see you here. Sorry, recently I'm a bit busy. Do I know you? Huh? I'm Lydia, your girlfriend? What? It's really you? You ghosted me for the past few weeks. Jeez. Uh, did you even take a shower? And what's that thing? <gasps> Wanna trap me with a baby? No, no, she's not my child. And it's true that I forgot to wash my hands after changing Rosie's diaper this morning, but anyway, please, I just need to look after her for a few more weeks and everything will be back to normal. That's enough. Look at you. You're just like a cave girl. By the way, use this. And you know what? We're over. No words can explain how pathetic I am right now. It's all because of your mom. She's such a... Ugh. Now my life's a living misery, all because of you two. Ah! Shh. I'm sorry, Rosie, I didn't mean it. None of this is your fault. Two months is almost up. When your mom's back, things will be okay again. But two months passed, and Gwen was still nowhere to be found. Worse still, the money she left ran out. I had no choice but to find work, so I took a personal tutor job where students came to my place to study. Not a single soul applied, until one day I opened the door to see this guy. Hello, can I help you? I saw this flyer and want to attend the class. Oh, really? Uh, sure, come on in. Turns out, he's Augustin. He wanted to get onto the same law course as me, but last year, he didn't make the grade. I tried my best to keep an eye on both Rosie and Augustin in separate rooms, but once in a while, Rosie let out a squeak. You hear that? Um, that's my cat. Solve this equation. I need to go to the toilet. But you went 10 minutes ago. I have a small bladder. It runs in my family. Any problems? If you fall in love with someone, just confess like this. My love for you is like diarrhea. I can't hold it in. Mwahaha. Disgusting. I pity anyone who falls in love with him. I hurried back in to see him on his phone. So much for working hard. Huh. Hey, if you really want to get into college, at least put some effort into it. <laughs> like how you did your Snow White makeup. Oh no, it's baby powder. Uh, it's flour. I'm making bread. Didn't know you can make bread in the toilet. It's okay, teen mom. No need to hide your baby anymore. No judgment here. Seeing as the game was up, I told Augustin the truth. Surprisingly, he seemed understanding and even asked if he could see Rosie. Whoa, who knew Mr. Jokester could be so good with babies? I've never seen Rosie so full of joy and laughter like that. Gradually, I no longer saw him as my student, but more like a friend. It's not like he came to my place to study anyway. <laughs> we talked a lot, even outside tutoring sessions, and I learned so much about him. You'll never fulfill your law school dreams by playing games all the time over studying. Who said law school is my dream? And this is not a game. Huh, a fashion website? Don't tell me it's yours. Yeah, I'm the founder of this brand. No way. And what's this? Can you really sell this plain cap for $200? It's not about the cap. It's about the brand's design. He then told me he had always dreamt of opening his own fashion chain, but his parents never supported it and just wanted him to be a lawyer like them. That's why he was never serious about his studies and messed about. So what's your dream? Become the best judge in America? It's totally not a hard question, but why am I speechless? I just want to be as cool as my sister, but she's not so cool anymore. Right then, Rosie squealed and filled her diaper, which somehow saved me from the situation. But Augustine's question got me thinking. I need to find the answer. You look distracted. What's on your mind? I found it. I want to be perfect. That's vague. How do you define perfect, though? Does it make you happy? I... I'm not sure. How about this? Have you ever thought about it? Oh, this is nonsense. Forget it. Hmm, I've forgotten to take care of myself for so long. My boyfriend dumped me, and now my friends also ignored me. I became a loser, all because of a baby. 
Right then, my lecturer emailed me. A last-minute spot had come up on the debate team for the most important competition of the year. This is my big chance! But how was I supposed to care for Rosie and prepare for it? After a whole night of tossing and turning, the doorbell woke me. Was it Gwen? Oh, it's just some strange guy. Hi, you must be Lydia, Gwen's sister. I'm Kyle, Gwen's boyfriend, and her baby daddy. What on earth? Look at him! I didn't know Gwen had such a weird taste in men. Aren't you studying in France or something? What? Um, I mean, yeah, but without my baby, France, Germany, or even the North Pole are all meaningless. Can I see her now? And after that was the reunion of the century. Thanks for taking good care of Rosie, but now I'll do it. That's my duty as her father anyway. Kyle might look intimidating, but he seemed to love Rosie sincerely. So even though it broke my heart, I gave Rosie to her dad. Besides, there's a huge opportunity waiting for me. I put all of my focus into studying, and it was all going amazingly. I ate the competition and left no crumbs, then even got invited back onto the cheerleading team. My dream life was back. But why did I feel like I had this big hole inside of me? Congratulations, best debater of the state! Thanks. Sup? You took back everything you wanted. Why the long face? Uh, I don't know. I just feel empty. So, what can we do to make you feel happy right now? So, here we are, at Rosie's place. What's that loud crying and scolding sound? I impatiently pressed the bell, and Kyle took forever to answer. OMG, is that cigarette smoke? <coughs> and look at the house! It's a huge mess! What are you doing to Rosie? That's it! Give her back to me! You have no right to take her away from me! The only one who can raise Rosie with me is her mother, so tell Gwen to come back to me! What? You didn't talk to Gwen about this? Last warning! Tell Gwen to come here and ask to be my girlfriend again, then I'll consider giving her the baby back. Excuse me, it's father-daughter time now. I fell on my knees like all my strength was drawn away. It's all my fault! I handed Rosie to him! Calm down, Lydia. Let's try contacting your sister first. I called Gwen a million times, but no surprise, she didn't pick up. So I shot her a message about the current situation and asked her to show up ASAP. Me and Dagestan waited outside Kyle's house for ages, and right when we were about to give up, Gwen finally appeared! We banged on the door, but that jerk Kyle refused to let us in! Oh, you finally showed up! If you want the brat back that badly, then it'll cost you, let's say, $5,000? What a low life! Gwen was inconsolable, and Augustine kept trying to kick the door down. Success! We were about to storm in, but then spotted Kyle running off with Rosie and jumped onto his motorbike! Call 911. We've got this. He led me over to his bike, and I clung on for dear life as we chased after Kyle. He was going so fast, and I thought we were going to lose him. Then suddenly, Augustine took a sharp turn up a narrow alley. What are you doing? He went the other way! Trust me, and hold on tight! We whizzed back onto the main road and managed to cut Kyle off at the town square. He tried leaving the baby there and running off, but the cops caught up just in time, and he was arrested. I'm so sorry! I shouldn't have left like that! I put you all in such terrible danger! All I wanted was to make things right! Gwen, it's okay. We're all okay. After that, we all went back to her dorm. Turns out she's now a journalism freshman. And I cannot believe my eyes! How could she live in a place like this? Why are you… My life wasn't full of roses at all. The perfect image that I built up was all fake, and it completely wore me out. But this… This is real. It's what truly makes me happy, so please understand. I… I didn't know that. But I'm glad you found your dream. You'll always be my coolest sister. And with a holding hand, Gwen found the strength to tell our parents everything. They weren't angry at all, and even felt sorry for her carrying all that burden alone. Turns out, it was Gwen who put all the pressure on herself. Mom and Dad even suggested that Gwen move back with them, so they could help her take care of Rosie. Finally, everything was sorted out, except I realized law was not my passion after all. Now, which path should I take? Suddenly, Augustine came to me with a wrinkled piece of paper. How about you start with this? Gosh, you still keep it? Let's say… I'll give it a try! Hi, it's me again, and today is the grand opening of my baby clothes store. All the clothes here are my own designs. Adorable, right? And my marketing and branding expert, aka my soulmate, is this guy. Oh, of course, my family was also here. Mom! Mom! Wow, 
Oh, Rosie had just spoken her first word. Let's take a picture to capture this memorable moment. Three, two, one. Oh no, sweetie. 